What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Jigoku Raku, this time with episode 8. Uh, looking forward to seeing what we've got today. A really good episode last time out. It was a bit of a quiet episode, not, um, well there's a little bit of action at the start of it, but we, uh, we met this pink haired, uh, little girl, um, who was quite the interesting character. We also, of course, got to see a bit more of these, um, these gods, I, I, I forget the name, that's Tencent, I think they're called. Um, these kind of gods of, uh, of this place and they absolutely destroyed <laughs> the brothers. Uh, pretty much everyone has died now, uh, that came here. Um, I did actually forget a little bit about the, uh, the kind of curly haired, um, darker skinned boy and his executioner. They're actually still alive, but so is the guy who lost his hand. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what's going on with them. Um, I kind of imagine they might just die off just like we've seen everyone else but uh they've done pretty well to survive so far um really makes you scared though about encountering these gods doesn't it the way they just put those guys in the dirt used them for uh more to create more of the elixir was uh, again quite scary hopefully we won't encounter them anytime soon but um quite the wholesome episode last time especially at the end of the episode with gabby maru and the uh the little kid but do let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into it guys again as much as we did learn a lot we learned a lot last week there were um, still a few questions raised and it did again i kind of already go over some points we one can just assume is true like the elixir being a thing and again we've kind of had evidence of that anyway haven't we you know some of the flashbacks we've seen with gabby maru but um again it was quite the informative episode This is the execution of that little boy, right? What was that? Some paper and a rock. Oh, wow. <laughs> Took them all down. I was expecting it to be him getting the beating. Oh shit, Sugi Moe's voice actor. Hmm. We've seen that guy before, right? Just to be blind. Yeah, I really love his voice actor. As I said, uh, as well as a few other roles, does Sugi Moto. Really distinct voice. Although, pretty much all voice actors or big voice actors have very distinct voices, don't they? Don't know why it is, but it's just, it just seems more distinct and I don't know, just so much better than Western voice actors, in my opinion. I just can't get down with it. I, I, I was a dub only guy at one point, but even then I did realize that some were very bad. Don't get me wrong, there's some really good ones. I'm not sure why, just uh, maybe not understanding exactly what they're saying does something, but I'm not sure why they're just, again, so much more distinct. Much more kind of tones and they just capture the character better. I feel like with, uh, again, with Western ones, this might be a bit of a tangent here, but they kind of, when they do do a different role, they don't really change their voice up that much. Um, even though you recognize them in anime, the Japanese voice actors, it's uh, they do some very different roles. There's more to distinguish one uh, one character from another one of their characters. Which is pretty amazing considering a lot of the top talent do a lot of anime and you see them in a lot of shows. Recognizable, but not the same. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I forgot that's a girl. <laughs> I think I did. Oh shit, I did refer to her as a him earlier, didn't I? My bad. This is bad news. <clears throat> this is very bad news. <laughs> Just a faint tap. Yeah, this is terrible news. Surely, if anyone just runs into these guys, they're just, just instantly dead, right? Even Gabby Maru. Nice dodge. Maybe not. Yeah, unfortunately pointless, but really cool. Really cool shot. Yeah, what else does that to do? <laughs> what else can you do against these guys but run? That was another really cool shot. Again, I like I like the gore and the uh, the body effects in this show. They're really cool, aren't they? Oh god, it's following us already. But yeah, again. <laughs> Things are just insane. I feel like the only way you can do something about all this is like. Who the fuck was that? I feel like the only thing you can... Is it the dragon guy? Oh no, it's this guy again. Where did he come from? But yeah, I feel like the only thing we could do is like nuke this place. <laughs> but then of course you'd be getting rid of the elixir. But like nuke it, burn it all down. Even then. I feel like they're maybe they're maybe quite tied in with the wildlife here. I don't, I don't with the elixir and such. But like it's all maybe kind of one life in a way. All this life, and I could just be talking rubbish here. But the fact they're kind of made out of like plants. You couldn't leave. <laughs> I'm a fucking fair play for this guy surviving this whole time by himself, blind. Pretty amazing senses, aren't they? And yeah, as a oh wait, I thought maybe the uh, ten cent returned.
Oh, so he survived that? Do we know this? I feel like we might have. I can't remember. It's quite a while ago. I was really near stop fighting each other and like I said I feel like that God is gonna be back soon. Yeah, he definitely sees a bit of himself in this kid, doesn't he? Why is he pointing it down there? <laughs> You're going for the fucking... Is he going for the low blow? But again, probably, probably best if we kind of switch on right now. Oh, he can't see, so I imagine there's some way he knows. Oh, of course. <laughs> Let's hope we didn't just go all through this just for these guys to die. That's at least two more of them as well. Maybe three that we know of. Again, maybe that girl is one. Don't really know. Yep. Oh, crap. Holy crap. <laughs> really did get used to it. Bloody hell. And here we go again. Oh, shit. So it did go through that just for this guy to die. Why does the show do this, man? Why does the show show us a little bit about these characters and just kill them? <laughs> I mean, that happens in a lot of shows, don't get me wrong, but... I'd like for at least some people to stay alive. <laughs> Although I guess it just, just proves just how ruthless these gods are really, doesn't it? How stupidly overpowered they are. That's where that line came from.
That was a pretty cool technique from him though, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking that was that was some really nice action today already. I still I still don't I still can't understand why people say the show looks bad. And the show looks excellent. Saw people complaining the other day about an extra finger on the character when it was literally like 0.1 seconds of a of an in-between shot of an, an animation <laughs> of them moving their hand oh wow yeah but that's the thing i think nowadays people um being critical and saying something's bad and stuff is much more popular you get more hits and such from that than uh and hating than you would loving something for example oh sweet <laughs> it didn't hit him this whole time This guy's already dead, isn't he? He was one of the, the really cool designs, and again, I was quite surprised he died so quickly. This guy with the red hair. That was him. Imagine that. Fucking hell. Makes sense. Makes sense. Again, kind of sad we all get in this one. This guy's dead. Can we get some progression for some characters that are going to live? <laughs> I mean, we've had it. Don't get me wrong, we've had it with uh, Gabby Maru and uh, Sagari. But man, <laughs> this show is just not afraid of killing anyone, is it? I do like these guys though. I do like these guys quite a bit.
And now you're a howl. You know what? Maybe plausible <laughs> could survive that. Maybe. Actually. Yeah, it's got four holes in his chest, but they're not in the worst place ever. Indeed. Yeah, he's not just going to go out like that, is he? No way. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, more holes. And it's a shame we have nothing that can like create a fire. Like I said earlier about nukes. I feel like maybe if we set these guys on fire and just burn them, would they still be able to live? Not sure. Oh, we got a sword. <laughs> this, uh, this was a while ago though, so there was obviously no like lighters or anything. I was gonna say it's gonna be amazing if you can talk with fucking holes <laughs> where your like, lungs are. Be amazing. Oh wow, he actually understood. Wow, that is super impressive. Again, I really like this guy. <laughs> You had the potential to save a life right here, my bro. I think that is uh, enough by itself. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're like a mix between man boobs and woman boobs. And he's just heard him die, hasn't he? Yeah. Pretty amazing this guy survived as well. Cut across the neck like that. And again, this Annoying. <laughs> this guy's dead. Special ending right here as well. I really like this episode. Like I said, shame. All of this for a character that's now dead, but I do appreciate it. But like as I keep saying, it's shame. I don't see this guy no more. That was a lovely little fade into the end in there, wasn't it? Really, really well done, actually. I feel like this whole episode in general was really well done. Again, I'll probably I'll go on Twitter later and I'll see some people nitpicking a, a fucking split-second screenshot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, really good episode. Like I said, it's, a sh it's, it's just kind of dampened a little bit by the fact that this guy's now dead. We need to tell the creators of the show, you can keep some characters alive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I wouldn't even be mad if he stayed alive after those first four shots. Like I said, it's maybe slightly plausible. Um, of course, no. Much more realistically, no. Well, that was a, that was a really good episode, wasn't it? Again, um, almost like a obviously not a kind of full kind of segment away from what's going on, but it was pretty much a full focus on these characters and their kind of backstory, wasn't it? Um, especially, um, of course, the master and uh, this blonde-haired guy whose name I do forget, unfortunately. So apologies about that. But um, yeah, really liked his character today. Love the kind of story told from the kind of masters. Uh, um, seeing the master and him kind of look after. This, uh, this little rascal um, and then him have his own kind of a uh, little rascal as well <laughs> to look after uh, it was uh, quite the quite the nice story there actually wasn't it um, like I said it's just a shame that we saw all this and again it's just not going to continue if you know what I'm saying we're not going to see any more of this guy in the story we're not going to see any more uh, well he kind of already made his progress if you know what I'm saying he almost kind of completed his, uh, his job to be honest didn't he um, I think his uh, master can kind of be proud of that that he raised him to actually kind of do what he done almost and uh, kind of give salvation to this criminal kid and then um save their life and again a little bit like the execution stop that kind of execution from happening stop it going to that kind of situation but um yeah it's obviously quite sad there at the end some really nice uh, animation and fight sequences today weren't there like i said probably gonna see uh propaganda <laughs> about the animation of the show on twitter later but uh, honestly if you guys if you guys have seen it just like me you just gotta just gotta ignore those people to be honest with you so it's absolutely such bullshit but um yeah <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section again really good episode uh, again only dampened by the fact that um yeah people have to die unfortunately uh too many people is where i'm maybe standing at this point <laughs> like, like i said maybe maybe try and keep some of these side characters alive i mean is, is every character apart from gab uh gabby maru and um Sagari just gonna die i mean it kind of i hope that's not the case um but yeah let me know what you guys uh, think about this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions um i say i say i wouldn't like that and i say i hope that's not the case but i mean it's realistic so i guess i guess in that aspect it's pretty cool but i mean it's fiction at the end of the day isn't it so um yeah uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day guys